Absolutely. Governor Collins, could you summarize your feelings as governor of the state of Florida and then maybe later after you work with other organizations that were involved in, in civil rights movements and civil rights uh, demonstrations and organizations? Well, as governor, I came to recognize that uh, there had to be change. Uh, I don't think anybody can serve as governor without feeling a deep sense of responsibility to every citizen of the state. Uh, and and I, I realize that deep in my heart, that that person out there, that child or that old person or that other, your other person, regardless of color, uh, I had a responsibility to that person. And, and as that person's governor, and they had a right to look to me as their governor. And this was a, a very m moderating sort of feeling that, that, that displaced completely uh, all of my former uh, sense of feeling of separation. Uh, I, know, I knew we had to change in Florida, and I was desperately anxious to see us uh, use good judgment and, and good sense and good uh, uh, neighborly uh, relationships in order to accomplish that. Uh, I'm, I made it clear uh, as we saw this change coming that we were going to change, but that we were going to do that uh, within the framework of being lawful and also orderly. Uh, I knew that if we had disorders, if we had riots, if we had great disturbances in the state, it would destroy much of the other things that I was so anxious to develop in the state as governor. I wanted better schools, and I wanted better health programs, and, and, and I, I, I wanted more industry in the state so that we could have more jobs for people and this kind of thing. And, and I told the people very frankly that industry was not coming here if we had a state of, of disorder and, and unrest and lack of stability. So that was the, the framework I was trying to work in. Move forward, yes, but do it orderly and, uh, and do it within the framework of law. Now as the law changed, and it did change drastically, uh, when I was governor we didn't uh, have anything but that decision in the Brown case that a lot of people thought was going to be changed and overruled uh, very promptly, but it wasn't. But, uh, but then later on there came federal laws, uh, civil rights acts and various other things that firmed up all these things. But before those federal acts came firming them up it was the kind of difficult time that, that I was serving as governor and trying to make progress, but at the same time trying to do it orderly. Now, uh, later on, uh, as I got m m closer to the whole picture, and as I worked with people that were involved in, in, in the movements of one kind or another, the leaders of SNCC and the leaders of Southern Christian Leadership Conference, Dr. Martin Luther King and all these others, well, I, I came to understand their side of this thing much more deeply than I had before. When I was the director of the Community Relations Service, half of the people that worked with me, half of my staff were black people. And, and they were fine, intelligent, able people. And there was quickly a, a lack of any strain whatever in our work together. Uh, if, if I would have been strained before and uncomfortable before, uh, working right uh, side by side uh, with black people, it was gone uh, because I found these people to be uh, so, so such splendid people, you know, in, in every respect that we soon uh, weren't concerned at all about what color I was or what color they were. And so it, it, it caused me to understand that, that this society really could be strengthened greatly if, if this is the way people generally develop the field. I go out now to the Florida a and University, and, and, I, and I feel perfectly at home out there. I mean, and, and I, I, there's no strain by people there, and no strain on my part. 
to sit down together and work on problems together and, and all, all that. Whereas in earlier years, there might have been some. I mean, there was some. An activity to, to get a street named in the honor of the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Uh, he, too, is ill and probably feels that this may be his last political act. How do you feel about his desire to have that street name changed, and how do you feel since it has happened? Well, I, I thought it was a very sound and reasonable suggestion uh, and proposal, uh, and I was hoping that the uh, city commission would approve it. I think it should have been approved all the way. I, I think when they cut it off at a certain point that that um, I didn't see the, the purpose for that or the reason for it, and I, I regretted to see them do that. Uh, I know some of the speakers down there at the little ceremony they had pointed out that maybe that was a good thing because it indicated that the that this whole fight for civil rights uh, was not over that uh, there was still much to be done and Governor Collins assuming that you are a Christian man uh, how did your personal Christian philosophies and morals uh, affect your feelings towards civil rights activists? Did you feel your personal morals align you involuntarily with people that were talking about social change and social justice? Yes, there, there was some of that, considerable of that. And I make a very, very fortunate thing that uh, Dr. King came along with the uh, with that deep religious uh, feeling uh, because inherent in that deep religious feeling is, is, is a softness. There, there is a, there is a, a, a strong uh, humility uh, involved and he reflected this in his uh, uh, missions and in his uh, projects in, in which he became involved in, uh, even though he was criticized very severely by many blacks because of it. But he steadfastly stood to that Christian faith. And uh, the simple fact that he, under those circumstances, would stand by that Christian faith, which of course opposed uh, grave disorders, uh, his he insisted continuously would be a, a, a program of nonviolence. That was because of, of his Christian feelings. And I think the people should be very thankful that a, a leader uh, determined to bring about change in relationships should still have that deeply felt. Uh,